No one can say that what we have now in all parts of Austin is helping anyone. More and more homeless encampment tents are popping up across the Austin area, regardless of the camping ban voted back in place last year. What we have now is unregulated encampments in everyone's neighborhood that are not appropriate for anyone, especially the homeless. Cleo Patricic with Save Austin Now, a group that spearheaded the campaign to reinstate the homeless camping ban, believes that the city is at fault when it comes to the recent uptick in illegal camping. I do feel they're letting down every single Austin night homeless or not. We all deserve to have a safe city and we're homeless to have the ability to have a safe campground. These are these are things that absolutely our mayor and city council can do. We are actively working with individuals who are unhoused, who are living in encampments throughout the city to get them connected to housing and services. When the ban was reinstated, the city implemented a four-phase plan to clean up homeless camps. Within a few months of that plan, it was tough to find one tent in a public area. But almost one year later, those tents are now back and the city says it's a resource issue. The truth is, you know, we don't have the resources we need to make sure that each and every one of our neighbors who's experiencing homelessness has a safe place to go. And Austin City Council member Kathy Tovo says the city is working to address these camps through the HEAL initiative that was implemented last summer. Just last month, 59 people were moved out of illegal encampments and into city-owned shelters. In total, 303 people have been helped through the HEAL campaign. Tovo says there's a process to figure out which camps are helped through this program. And right now, they can't help every camp currently in the city limited capacity um, and our staff are unfortunately, you know, they're, they have a very difficult job of identifying those encampments that pose the highest risk to health and safety and, and housing those individuals. And, and that means that some of the other encampments are not going to be prioritized for housing. Right now, there's no set date on when another wave of the HEAL initiative will happen, but the city is working on something else, opening a hotel in North Austin. Well, the Candlewood Suites in my district is right now being renovated, and it will accept about 75 people who are experiencing homelessness, but that's about a year down the road. Patricic believes that more can be done by the city. And that is sad because it's the homeless who are feeling the consequences of the chaos in the city. Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.